All right. Okay, welcome. It's 2.30 on uh, Tuesday, June 13th. Welcome to the Finance Committee meeting. Uh, any pecuniary interest? None known. None here. Uh, going down the agenda, ongoing tasks, CEO Burns. Yeah, we're, we, we've got to go back and do the minutes. Oh, well. sorry. Did I, oh, circulation of prior meeting minutes, they were approved at our May council meeting. No. And then the tasks, we don't have a task list this month. We're working with our software to pre prepare it and we're having a little bit of trouble, so. Okay. Well, I don't think there was anything there wasn't pressing, anything on, there pressing anyway on that anyways. For this committee. No. Okay, thanks, we'll move on. Uh, health and safety, joint health and safety committee inspection sheets. It looks Look, really good. good. Yeah. Thank you. Full marks. So can I get moved to receive and file? So moved. Okay, I'll second that. Thank you. New business. April bank reconciliation. So we got April. That's for general as well as water. We can do those two together, can we, or separately? Doesn't matter. We can do them. We, we should can, be able to do them we together. We can bundle them. We can bundle them. Okay, can I get a I'll move that we accept the a motion. Can I get a motion to approve the two documents. Okay, and I'll second that. Thank you. I'm our treasurer. No. Okay, item three of new business is the insurance deductible. All right, so I prepared a little bit of a report um, regarding the deductibles. Just sharing it to the screen here. So our premiums have gone up in the range of 12 to 15% per year for the last four or five years. Um, so I think I've got below how much that means. Um, so this year, total premiums, $350,760. Mm -hmm. um, council instructed me to reach out to our insurance provider to find out what changes in deductibles would mean to our premiums. So um, we're currently for liability, we have a $10,000 deductible. And for property matters, we have a $5,000 deductible. And then they provided us uh, savings if we change our deductibles, increase them. Um, and I've got a few examples there on the screen that talk about what the, the change would be. Mm -hmm. We can implement these changes at any time we want. So if, if you, you know, if council were to instruct me to go ahead with this today, I would contact the insurance company. They would change the premium and we get a refund for the rest of this year. Or we could just wait and implement it. And then you could instruct me to have the um, insurance provider make the change effective starting next year. And then our premiums would adjust accordingly. Um, the one thing I would suggest if we do do this is to, to start to continue to build our insurance reserve. As I mean, if we have an incident, $50,000 deductible, if we have something that goes that high, that's a substantial amount of money. So you want to, you want, I would think you would want to put money aside um, from the savings. I mean, the, substan the substantial savings, $34,000 a year, but one problem eats that up very quickly yes. and and maybe you don't want to go that far maybe you don't want to go to the 50,000 maybe you just want to go to the 25,000 mm -hmm. but regardless I think you should establish more of a reserve for it so my question then is to the treasurer do we have a reserve current I'm not I'm not aware of one. yeah I think, okay. I think I agree I think we have maybe like eight or ten thousand dollars or something like that yeah, nothing stands up to me. So what about history of claims? That's what I was going to ask. So the, I do have that information. It's a little bit convoluted. Like there's, there, we don't have a big history. Um, there's, there are a few on the books right now. Some slip and fall, so. Yeah, there was a slip and fall a few years ago. There's been a couple, there's a claim just came in a couple of days ago. That incident back in February where the, somebody tried to steal one of our manhole covers. And then someone drove over the manhole and yeah, did a bunch of damage to the vehicle. Yeah. So um, I don't know where that's going to go. But yeah, we don't have a lot of claims. But So regardless, okay, let me get this straight. So 
depending on what happens with that claim, that claim was in February. If we make a change, is it a, does the old deductible apply yes. or the new deductible? I, I would assume that the deductible that was in place on the date of the incident would, I, I assume that, I guess I could verify well, that now the I'm, insurance company. Now, as I say that, I'm not sure that that would be the case because by the time they would, uh, you know submit like we just yeah. submitted the claim okay they just submitted it to us to us on uh, thursday i believe the word i was looking for yeah. by the time they adjudicate it if we had a different deductible in place it might apply from I, that time i can find out from the insurance company but yeah. which deductible how that that's the only thing i'm concerned matter. about because we do have a potential case yes or not would that be property or liability um you know which one that would fall under i know that would be a liability That'd issue be a liability? right because it's not like property is our property our property okay so maybe maybe we need the answer to that question what do you think it shouldn't be hard to get yeah you know, get that for the next council meeting i'm sure it's just an email with them yeah because i i didn't think we had very many if I knew that yeah. something might happen, I would want to be at the lower one than the higher one. Yeah. Or we wait and do it. The claim on that, I think, is about twenty twenty eight thousand dollars or something. Oh, yeah. Okay, so um, it's not impact as impactful, but okay. Um so that's the, the liability on the return to dive. <clears throat> Ten thousand dollars we'd be pay right if depend that. right now, yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh but if we went to twenty five, it wouldn't hit that. So we can table this. I mean, yeah, there's was, no great big hurry to no, do it. It's good to have the information. Well, the sooner we make a decision, the sooner we save money. But yes. I think, yeah, there's a couple of questions that need to be answered, yeah. and we can go back and make a final decision. I can circulate our claims history too. I'll circulate that for the next for the council meeting, and I'll have an answer to that question about where that incident happened on the seventh of February, where it would fall. Thanks. I don't know. Have we had any property ones? <laughs> well, yes, <laughs> we have. Okay. <laughs> I don't understand, but. We have had property claims. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what we receive them now, move to receive and file. So for or them, um, be both defer. Both. I defer. Think. Defer. Or table it. Defer would be the defer. Okay. But our defer to get that additional information. Get that information and bring yep. it back to committee yeah. next, next. I think meeting. probably council. Council. Okay. Yeah. It, it shouldn't be hard information to get yeah. at all. Okay. Okay. All right, but it is. Good to know that there's a potential for some savings. It's just a matter of making the right decision. Yes. Okay. So moving on to financial savings. Any question? I had none. I just have one, and it's mm -hmm. it's not a lot of money, but it's just something that I know we talk about at budget time, and it's transit subsidy. Or we reduced it this year significantly to five hundred dollars, and we're at 655 already like in, the, in that last year i don't know what we spent on trends at last year but the number was not big at all that might be um buying the tickets but the tickets aren't sold yet so they have no idea. oh so it'll be this, counteracted yeah. by a revenue oh, okay. as they're sold because i there was no detail on this month's report okay. so i was no i didn't okay. that's okay Okay, so but that makes sense. You outlay yeah. the money and then you get it. Just, uh, yeah, it's a time. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. I just, you know, it's not a lot of money, but I just thought that, you know, because I know we, we really cut it back this year. Okay. Satisfied with that. That was the only one I had. Okay. okay. So I'll move that we receive the file. I'll second that. Report. Okay. Thank you. And do you have any new business? I do not. I have nothing at this point. So I guess we, next meeting date will be July 11th, I believe. Yes. At 2.30 in the afternoon. And uh, move to adjourn. Seconded. Thank you.